Almost 85% of EV owners ignore hidden battery features that could make their cars last longer, charge faster, and perform better. Trust me, these will surprise you. They are the real data back systems that separate smart EV drivers from the rest. And we will reveal the 10 hidden EV battery features only experienced drivers know. Stick around till the end because the last one could save you thousands in battery repairs. Feature number 10. Battery Preconditioning when your EV charges slower than usual, it's often not you, the charger's fault. It's the battery being too cold or too hot. Batteries like to stay in a certain comfort zone, usually around 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's freezing outside and you plug into a fast charger, the battery cells are stiff and can't take in power efficiently. So, your car has to first use energy to warm them up before the charge actually begins. That's where battery preconditioning comes in. It's a built-in feature that warms or cools the battery before you reach a DC fast charger. When the battery is already at the right temperature, charging can be up to 25% faster. This also stops a problem called lithium plating, which happens when charging a cold battery and can permanently damage its capacity. Most newer EVs handle this automatically. Sadly, older EVs without this feature just take longer to charge and wear out faster. So, the best thing to do before a road trip or fast charge is to always make sure your car has started preconditioning. Feature number 9. Smart Charging Schedules Charging your EV overnight isn't only convenient, it's actually one of the smartest things you can do for your battery. When you plug in late at night, the air is cooler and the electrical grid is less stressed, so your battery charges more gently. Heat is one of the main reasons batteries wear out faster, and charging in daytime when it's hot adds extra stress on the cells. By setting a schedule in your EV app to start charging around midnight, you can cut down on unnecessary heat buildup and take advantage of lower off-peak electricity rates in most areas. That means your battery stays healthier, your power bill drops, and you wake up every morning to a fully charged car that's ready to go. Feature number 8. Thermal Management System your EV's cooling system is one of the hardest working parts of the entire car, even though most people never think about it. Inside that big battery pack under your feet are hundreds or even thousands of tiny cells, and every time you drive or charge, those cells heat up. The thermal management system is what keeps them all at just the right temperature, which is usually around 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Most modern EVs use liquid cooling, kind of like how a radiator works in a gas car, except far more precise. A network of coolant tubes runs between the battery modules, drawing heat away and keeping every cell within a few degrees of each other. Feature number 7. Battery Buffer Zones Now when your EV says the battery is at 100%, it's actually not full. Automakers secretly hide the small part of the battery at the top and bottom, usually about 5-10%, to called buffer zones. When you think you've hit 0%, there's still a safety bonus left. And when it says 100%, it's really more like 90-95%. to This smart design helps prevent overcharging and deep discharges, which are the two biggest reasons lithium cells die early. It's the same idea as keeping your phone between 20% and 80%. Only this time, the car handles it for you automatically. That fake 0% or 100% isn't actually a bug or a flaw. It's your EV quietly protecting itself behind the scenes. Why? Well, because if car makers didn't include these buffer zones, every time you topped up to 100% or it ran close to zero, you'd be slowly damaging the battery's chemistry. Feature number 6. Cell Balancing System You need to know that your EV battery isn't one big block. It's made up of hundreds, sometimes thousands of tiny battery cells all working together. Each of these cells charges and discharges at slightly different speeds, so over time, some can get out of sync. And that's where the cell balancing system comes in. A well-balanced battery runs smoother, lasts longer, and keeps your range readings accurate. Without this, some cells would get overstressed, while others would sit underused, which would slowly kill your battery from the inside out. The good news is your EV does most of this on its own, especially while plugged in overnight. Some cars even run balancing automatically when the pack is sitting idle. But there's one simple thing you can do to help it out. Give it a full charge once every few weeks. That lets the battery management system do a complete balance across all cells. It doesn't wear out the battery if done occasionally, and it helps keep the pack in top shape. Feature number 5. Regenerative Braking Optimization 
Moving on, every time you hit the brakes in your EV, you're not only slowing down, you're actually also making electricity. That might sound weird, but here's what it means. You see, while you're hitting the brakes, there's something called regenerative braking happening. It's one of the cleverest features in any electric car. When you lift your foot off the accelerator, the motor flips rolls and becomes a generator. Instead of wasting energy as heat like a gas car does, it captures that energy and sends it right back into the battery. In city traffic, this can recover as much as 10 to 30% of your total energy use. The more stop and go your driving is, the more range you get back. Some EVs even let you adjust how strong the regen feels. Stronger settings for city driving, lighter ones for highways. Once you get used to it, you'll find yourself driving with just one pedal most of the time, barely touching the brake. Feature number 4. State of Charge Calibration now when your EV's range meter starts acting weird, showing numbers that makes no sense, it's not the battery that's confused, it's the sensors. This is where state of charge or SOC calibration comes in. Over time, as you charge and drive normally, the battery management system can lose track of how much real energy the pack is holding. The result is a range estimate that's off by as much as 5-10%. to Doing a simple calibration fixes that. All you need to do is charge your EV all the way up to 100%, drive it down to around 5-10%, to and then charge it back to your normal level. This really helps the car relearn the true upper and lower limits of the pack. What's funny though is many drivers think their battery is wearing out faster when really, it's just the software getting a little lost. The calibration brings it back in sync, which means you get a more honest picture of how much range you actually have left. If you've learned even one new thing so far, hit like and subscribe. It helps us keep making more real data-driven EV tips just like this. Feature number 3. Vehicle to Load and Vehicle to Grid your EV has the magic of vehicle-to-load and vehicle-to-grid features. Vehicle-to-load lets you plug in tools, camping gear, or even run small appliances straight from your EV. Vehicle-to-grid features goes one step further, sending electricity back to your house or the grid. Some EVs like the Ford F-150 Lightning, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Nissan Leaf can output up to 3.6 kilowatts, which is enough to power a full-size fridge and lights for half a day. The real genius about this is that this feature can save you money and protect your home during power outages. Instead of letting energy sit idle in the battery, your EV can become a backup source, reducing the need for traditional generators or expensive battery setups. It also gives you more control over energy use. You can plug in appliances directly or even sell power back to the grid if your local utility allows it. Feature number 2. Deep Sleep or Battery Storage Mode now, Feature 2 is all about putting your EV into deep sleep or battery storage mode when it's parked for a long time. If you're going on vacation or leaving the car idle for weeks, just unplugging it isn't enough. Batteries naturally lose charge over time, and sensors or background systems can keep the pack awake, slowly draining energy. Storage mode fixes this by shutting down unnecessary systems and keeping the cells at a safe voltage. With this on, battery loss drops to under 1% per month, even if the car sits for a long stretch. Turning on storage mode also helps prevent tiny repeated cycles that add up over time and wear out the battery faster. Many EVs will automatically adjust charging or maintain the pack at a perfect voltage for long-term storage. Some even reduce temperature management activity, so the battery isn't overcooled or overheated while idle. The trick is to activate this feature whenever the car will be parked for more than two weeks. By doing so, you save hundreds of charge cycles over the life of the vehicle. Feature number 1. Predictive Battery Algorithms Last but not least, Feature 1 is about predictive battery algorithms. It's the hidden brain inside your EV that most drivers never see. This software watches how you drive, the weather where you live, and the routes you take. It then adjusts charging curves, temperature control, and power delivery to keep the battery healthy. Over time, this system improves real-world range accuracy by 5-10% to and reduces stress on the cells, making sure they last longer without you even noticing. The genius of predictive algorithms is that they learn from every trip. If you often drive at highway speeds in hot weather, the software might pre-cool the battery before you start or slightly limit charging speeds to prevent overheating. On short trips around town, it might adjust regenerative braking and charge limits to maximize efficiency. The result is a battery that stays healthy, a range that's more reliable, and a car that feels smarter than most drivers realize. See you in the next video!